Yeah, back again. Yeah, I got this little uh, train here, as you can see, in a antique store. You know, it was actually uh, brocante in France here, which is very, they were very expensive. But I was walking out, like, my eye caught this old tin train on the bottom of a tray. And actually, for the um, five pieces, he only wanted 10 euros, so I took them. But I need wheels, so I'm going to try to make wheels. I've been looking at online that, but they're hard to find, so I'm going to try to make wheels out of some of these old grommets and washers that I, I've i got laying around. So here we go. So what I did was measure the outside, the width, and the diameter out the, out, the outside and this inside diameter. And I'm trying to recreate them here with um, washers and grommets. So as you can see here, I have two locking washers and then this um, tent grommet piece inside and then a little rivet to make it smaller so I can put the shaft through. So this little shaft that's actually from the train will go through it. And here is, if you can see that, because this is missing the four wheels I'm going to do four for this and I'm going to do six spares with the spring washers but the um, Four are going to be just basically two flat washers and a flat washer behind and then two flat washers on top. The tent grommets put in center here to make it look like a train wheel. And all I got to do is drill the hole there. But I'll most likely solder, just solder the back of these for beginners and then drill a hole through and see what it looks like. So there's my concept at the moment. So basically if we take this one up and we hold it in the train, we're going to have something like that, see, in the end. Like that, there we go, as close as I can get it. Can you see that? Right? It's not center or anything, but it's just the idea of it. So here we go. We'll get to it. So the first thing is to, I think, try and drill these. And then either solder or epoxy in them. I've drilled, drilled all the rivets out so that the shaft goes in quite easily, as you can see. So I did some testing last night and I glued a wheel, couple of wheels together. I'll show you how I did it, but I came out with these, look. Quite nice, they just need the center piece put in, like that. Which maybe I should have soldered in first, but you know, I did my quick thing again. And then I got the split rings and put them on. They look pretty good. I mean, with the side you don't notice, there's a little split ring there and there. We'll fill those in a little. But they look pretty good. I'm pretty happy. So I got four of those split rings and four, fl four of these flat washers, which look a little better. You know, if you had them without this here, it'd be a nice car wheel if you just rounded that off. Huh? All I just got to do is tape a little there. There he goes. That'll hold it. The other side a bit. Never coming off, so you don't have to worry. I always do a little extra. It's never going anywhere. Right? That should do it. So there we have the hub of the wheel. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to take the chrome off of this so that the solder takes. You have to do this with all your parts. So get used to it. Make sure there's a little roughness and not shininess, you know, on the washer. And then we're going to solder those two together now. 
I'll do one and then we'll see how it goes, but I want to make a little bit more fixed train wheel this time. Yeah, I just want to uh, polish these up a little so they look like this a bit more because of the soldering. So I'm putting them on, I'm putting this grommet, this grommet screw through the top of the piece, put it in the drill, tighten it up, and then you tap with the screw uh, hammer just a little bit so it's good and tight. And then you just in your drill here, somewhere where it's safe. Should look better, see? When it's done, it looks like th that. So, you know, you take this, it's like a lathe, really, you know. See, that's nice and clean now. Looks like a train wheel. Pop it on there with another washer behind and we have a nice train wheel, see. I have this funnel piece soldered into the back of a washer. So it looks like this. Right? That's number one, right? Then I have this grommet clip soldered into a washer. It's number two. And they're all sanded on the back here for gluing. And these are just a spacer washer for in between to make a little wipe. Now I'm doing my epoxy mix here. Right, let's do that one. Just gonna glue this on there. Like this. It's a bit messy. So I'm gonna put that on there. All right. And then this one goes on top like this and we have a train wheel. Just try it. And that goes on there, and there you go. We have a train wheel that needs just a little bit of cleaning. You know, a white maybe first. You can always leave it dry for a while and then scrape it. So there you have it. The first one done. I'm gonna let that dry. We're gonna do another four of them. And we'll have another cartwheel done. Or carriage wheels. Yeah, so to finish these off, I'm putting a little filler around in here and rubbing it with my finger so you get that nice look in front of it kind of being all one piece. So I'm just doing that with these last ones here, the ones I did yesterday. So there we go, there's my wheels with JB well done. They're just drying up. And then I will clean them up and give you the last showing of them. But they'll dry there for a good 24 hours. So they're rock hard. So there are the um, eight complete and they're drying. Now I had some that popped out in the middle because I epoxied them and didn't solder or the solder came off when I tried to clean with the drill. But in general I'm happy with these and they're going to go on my little train cart here. You know these nice indentations won't show so I'm going to put these on. We'll see and put them in here like this and they'll look lovely. I just need to get a little insert in here, plastic, maybe a plastic straw. But these do fit. These ones fit here. They're actually quite nice. There you go. Four of those in there. And they fit on the shaft 
you know, quite loosely. So they'll spin nicely. So there you have it. Train wheels. Yeah, there's the coal car complete. Needs a little bit of adjusting, you know. But, you know, they were quite tinny, kind of plain. And as you can see, I've um, pre-spaced these wheels nicely because they weren't spaced. You can space them up and down to make them fit the track so they stay on the track. And here's the my original one, my new ones. Heavier um, pieces because they're not tin, they're washers. But you know, they look quite good on there, you wouldn't know the difference. Once you're down here like this, maybe I'll paint them black, I don't know. And I've just cleaned it up a little so you can see it. And I have an engine to do yet, which I still have to work on. So, there you go.